Hello, I'm Miss Wendy. And you can see I'm in my weather clothes. We're gonna be learning about weather today. So, hello children, I see you. I'm very happy to see you. Greet your neighbors, boogie on down. Give a clap and turn around. My name is Wendy, we'll learn about weather. So weather changes and I've got all my things here. Sometimes we have fog like this spray and sometimes weather, which is just what's going on in the atmosphere or the air around us is like this hair dryer making hot air. And sometimes it might be like cold, like this cold pack. We had that last winter. Sometimes we might have a storm and see lightning, just like my headlamp. And sometimes when there's rain, here's my prism. The light goes through the prism to make a rainbow. There's my prism. So we do lots of things to adjust to the weather. We also think about weather as being seasons. So let's think about winter. Here's my winter. And one of the things we were able to do last winter was make a snowman. And then we think about spring when the weather's a little gentler and we might be planting flowers. And we think about summer, we get a lot of summer in Texas, when it gets hot and we might go to the beach and dig in the sand. And we think about fall, that's what we're in right now, and I bet your mommies and daddies have been a lot of raking leaves. I know we've been doing that at my house. So we think about weather with seasons, but also we wear lots of different kinds of clothes in weather. Can you see all my different kinds of clothes? So we're gonna to get to that in a second after we do a little more weather learning, but we wear different kinds of clothes and we eat and drink different kinds of things. So like today is a cold day because it's getting close to winter. So last night I had soup, hot soup and hot cocoa because it was cold. And this morning for breakfast, I had hot oatmeal. But it's going to get hot again next week. And so I might want my iced tea or my lemonade. So what we eat also varies with the weather. So weather changes. Rain comes from clouds. Let's make our cloud. We feel the winds. Let's blow. Sometimes we see lightning and hear clap like thunder. The sun makes us hot a lot in Texas. So we can, here's my weather picture, and we can act out being the parts of a storm. So let's see if we can do that together. First, we're going to be the winds come in. Now we're gonna be the gentle rain. Let's tap gently. But now we're the thunder, the storm's coming closer. So we're gonna clap loudly and the lightning. So we'll open and close our hands like lightning. Whoa, here's the really heavy flooding rain. We're gonna stamp our feet and the light rain. And then the wind blows away and it's quiet. So we can be a storm. We can make finger weather. So spring is for rain, bring that rain down. And summer's for sun, make that sunshine. And fall is for wind. 
Winter snowflakes are fun by calls. You see some of the different kinds of weather. We have wind and lightning going to the beach, lots of kinds of weather. So one of the things I said, weather had to do with the atmosphere. Let's figure out how water works in the atmosphere. So water goes from the ground up, That's evaporation. Big word alert, let's say that together, evaporation. Then it forms clouds, it comes together. Another big word alert, condensation. And then it comes down as rain. Oh, third special word, precipitation. So we're gonna sing a song about that. Here's our weather with the evaporation and condensation and precipitation. So can you see? There we go, up to the cloud and coming down. So let's make a circle because that's the water cycle. Water travels in a cycle, yes, indeed. Water travels in a cycle, yes, indeed. Up as evaporation forming clouds. Oh, make that cloud as condensation coming down as precipitation, yes, indeed. So we can be the water cycle. Now, let's look. We talked about some of the kinds of weather because we're going to be actually seeing some of these things as edible weather later on. So here's our prism making the rainbow. And sometimes when it gets very cold or different layers of cold, and remember we said the atmosphere, the air all around us will get sleet and hail and snowflakes. But let's sing, here's my rainbow song. So I'm gonna put my rainbow up close so you can see it because we can be a rainbow. So make your rainbow up high. I'm a little rainbow glowing light, hanging in the sky daylight. When rays pass through me, then, so let's make the rays pass through this, the raindrops. When rain, when rains pass, when rays pass through rain, then I glow. The sun, oh, put your sun up. The sun will come and the rain will go. So we can be a rainbow. We can act out being some weather features. So let's see, we've got the clouds and the lightning and the sun and the rainbow and the snowflakes and the wind. So we can be weather. So let's be a cloud and make rain. What else can come? <gasps> lightning, can you make sort of, a, we think of it as being a zigzag, lightning come out. We can be the thunder. We can be the rain. We can be the sun making heat, heat, heat. <sighs> I better fan myself off. When it gets really cold, we can be, Snowflakes dropping. So we can act out being weather. So let's sing a weather song. Make your sun, shining sun, shining sun, shining all around. Are you seeing shadows? Let's do all upon the ground. Falling rain, falling rain, falling from the sky. Are you seeing a rainbow made up high? And now let us sing another weather song before we talk about weather clothes. So, how's the weather? How's the weather? Can you see? Can you hear? Is it windy? Is it sunny or rainy there? 
orange, there. So we wear different clothes in different weather. And I've got some here. So this is something, this isn't clothing, but I bet you all know what this is. This is an umbrella. So let's see if we can get my umbrella to unhook and come out. There we go, whoops. And I can put it up, whoa. So it's not clothing, but it is something we carry with us when we have rainy weather. But what kind of weather do you think I'd use these for? Hmm, maybe very cold weather. How about my swim goggles? I don't think I'd wanna be using those outside today. So there are my goggles. We use those in the summer. Hmm. There's a scarf. Another thing I might use in cold or winter weather. And here is a sweater. Hmm. This might be good for fall weather when it's getting a little cool, but not too cool. And, well, sun hat. That must be summer weather. Actually in San Antonio, it's probably a good idea to wear a sun hat a lot of the time to protect your skin. And sunglasses, yep, summer weather. And I have a rain poncho, rainy weather. So you can sort those, like I could take my sun hat and say, oh, let's put the sun things in. So I'll put my sunglasses and I'll put my goggles in my sun hat. And I could say, hmm, what can I sort my rainy things into well i could put them in the umbrella so i could take my rain poncho and just put that in the umbrella to sort it out maybe i would have a nice warm hat and i could sort my winter things into the nice warm hat so i'm going to show you how you can do some weather clothes sorting so here are my weather clothes for sorting. So you can see there's a nice little jacket and a raincoat. We think of rain, April showers. We think of that in the spring, jacket in the fall. Here's my mittens for winter and my, oh, very fancy two-piece swimsuit for summer. Now I could take that and you can see we can sort our weather things. There are my clothes right there. So into a summer basket, a rainy basket, a cold basket. We can sort all those different things in. But we can also cut out those pictures I just showed you. And I'm going to show you. Here's my sorting pictures. So I have a bucket to put summer things in, an umbrella to put rainy things in, a wheelbarrow to put fall things in, and a winter hat to put cold weather winter things in. So here's, I've cut out my little pictures. And you see, there we go on the umbrella. We have the raincoat and over by the bucket, we have the swimsuit and the sweater over by the wheelbarrow and the gloves over by the winter hat. So we also get all sorts of energy from weather, more and more. We call that, big word, renewables. So, 
from wind, we get energy like from wind turbines. And we also, we use it to fly kites and hot air balloons, sail boats, tell directions. That windmill stands for getting wind energy. Even our pioneer ancestors in Texas used windmills to get energy. Now we use sun also. Remember we have solar power. So it makes strong bones. It helps us tell time and day for night. We grow plants. There's our sunshine. It makes us nice and warm. So we get all sorts of things from the sun. And rain and the water from rain gives us energy. In some places we have, oh, this is a very big word, hydroelectric. That means electricity from water. And we get energy from water. So weather also is related to energy, but we use it to water plants, to take a bath. There we go, wash dishes. There's our our hydroelectric right there. We use it for recreation. It falls in our lakes, animals drink it. So we get lots of things that come from the weather. And there are many good weather books. I just brought this one because it has a particularly pretty picture. And next, I'm going to read you a weather story, and it's called, How's the Weather? And it goes like this, weather and seasons. So spring is for rain. You can see there's a rain coming down. And summer's for fun. Fall is for wind. It's been blowing the leaves around and we've been raking them up. Winter snowflakes are fun. I wonder if we're going to have another, maybe not as cold as last year, but snowy winter. And so we can be weather watchers. Here's my weather watcher journal. And I have pictures to represent different kinds of weather. So we have cloudy weather and lightning, sort of partly cloudy, sunny, snow, wind, really hot sun, rain, and cold. And I cut those out. Here's my weather chart that I was keeping. And I put them on the weather chart. So you can become, we have a special term for that, citizen scientist. You're recording the weather in your particular area. Another thing we can do is weather art. So you know how big I am on recycling everything. So I have lots of scraps of things from packages and other art projects. And I use that to make a recycle weather picture. So I thought, mm, this looks like raindrops and clouds. Here's my lightning. See how I just took this extra piece and sort of crinkled it up. And I took some of the plastic wrappers that things come in. To, to make a little bit of wind over there. And here's a nice puddle. So we can do weather art or I'm really into clouds. So I can make different kinds of clouds. Here's the big puppy clouds. You're gonna learn a lot of new words with this. Cumulus, that's a funny word to say, cumulus. And those tend to be low down. The little bit higher clouds that look like sort of a straight line. I saw those this morning when I walked are stratus clouds. And then sort of in between, this is one of my favorite words because it means a sheep's hair. 
Mouton. And it looks like the hair on a sheep where you get sort of a combination. They're sort of stretched out, but they make little tiny bumps, just like the hair on a sheep. And then when they get really high, we get the cirrus clouds. They're way up here. And they are very thin. And we're going to see that when we see our edible weather. So I also did cloud painting. So here's my paint. And I used a, here we go. There's a cotton ball to be a cloud. And I made a cloud painting with my cotton ball and my paint. And here's another collage just showing some other weather features. This one includes a rainbow and some more clouds and different kinds of flooding that we get in San Antonio. Now, the most fun part of my lesson. This is edible weather. So if I can keep from dropping these as I so often do, I'm going to start with the rainbows just because they're arranged that way. So here's one of my rainbows. I used M&Ms and I really splurged. I went and got blue chalk, uh, blue, excuse me, frosting. It's vanilla frosting, but it's blue. So I got blue frosting and Here's another rainbow where I used rainbow jelly candy to make a rainbow because everybody loves rainbows, right? And everybody loves sunshine. Now, this is the one that I'm a little worried about holding up because the rays are a little bit delicate. So let's see if I can get it up without dropping it and without losing the rays. Here we go. There's my sunshine with the candy corn rays. It's got peanut butter. It's on a nice big cookie. Hmm, that's going to be a nice dessert at lunchtime. Now, I made two other suns. This one is made with orange marmalade and our cracker. And that one has peanut butter chips to be the rays. This sun is made with cheese and because one of the things we want to know is everybody has different things in their house. So we want to have a lot of good ideas. So this one has butterscotch chips, my husband's favorite, and pretzel rays. So those are my three suns. And now I'm going to get, let's see if I can put this all together without dropping my rainbows. There we go. Now I'm going to get all of my cloud and precipitation weather to show you. So let me put this over here. And if I wanted to make rainbows other ways, I could use Skittles. That'd be another way or just like lots of different colored candies or Fruit Loops. So there are lots of ways, making rainbows is really fun, but wait till you see my clouds. Clouds are fun too. So I'm gonna start with my cumulus clouds. Those remember I said are the big puffy ones low down. That's my cumulus clouds. And then, this shows different layers of clouds. So here we have the cumulus clouds, the stratus clouds, and with the coconut on top, the wispy cirrus clouds, so that we can remember that depending on how high clouds are, they're gonna take different shapes. Now, we also know we get a lot of rain You'll see the raindrops, those are the, the pumpkin seeds, but the little sunflower seeds, sometimes when we get rain, we get hail, and that's what the little sunflower seeds are, they're the hail. Now, when we get rain, I've got my cloud here. We also can get lightning, so I made pretzel lightning, 
And I thought I better put in a little more hail. So those are my little mini chip hail there because we get hail quite a bit. And then in the winter, whoa, if my winter is falling off, in the winter, we get snow, there we go. And we can get sleet, that's what the little white coconut's supposed to be. So the snowdrops are the big white chocolate chips and the coconut, the sleet. So that is my edible weather to remind you about some of the things we've learned about weather today. So let's end with that song about the water cycle because that's really important about how water moves because water moving in air is what makes an awful lot of this weather. So water travels in a cycle, yes indeed. Water travels in a cycle, yes indeed. Up is evaporation form, forming clouds with condensation falling down to precipitation, yes indeed. So I am going to sing my goodbye songs. The next time we get together, I will be teaching about tree houses. What lives in a tree? Did you know a tree can be a tree house? So that's what we're going to be learning about next. And remember, every weekend, there's something going on in Hardburger Park. You can get out and get your grab and go bags. And you can also do other activities. So check your schedule very carefully to see what's going on this weekend. So shake hands with friends and family. Shake hands with friends and family. Shake hands with friends. It's time to go. We hope you'll be back soon. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, mommies. Goodbye, daddies. We'll see you again next month. Now it's time to wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye. Now it's time to wave bye-bye. I'll see you again. Learn about who lives in a tree. Goodbye.